I always had this huge appetite for fast cars. I was always doing everything I could to make enough money to support my automotive habit. So what do you exactly do here right now? We're building literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cars. For the biggest products we have would be Fast and Furious, I mean, that's the stuff when those come around. But outside of that, we do all sorts of other movies. We do uh, TV, you know, you name it. It's just uh, people call us from, you know, a project that has a 30,000 budget all in to, you know, a budget that's multi-million dollar deal. So just a little bit of everything. So what made you get into the automotive field? When I was a kid, my grandfather owned a service station where they had a shop. You know, he was like the first guy that actually brought me down to the shop. I was probably, you know, 10 years old and showed me how to rebuild a carburetor. And he had it all, you know, taken apart and all the parts clean on a white towel. There was some background in my life of a lot of mechanical knowledge. And I think it was almost like a, a punishment for my parents. They said, you know, if all you want to do is work on cars, we're going to send you away to an automotive school. You know, so yeah. the, the truth was it is what I wanted to do. So it wasn't really, you know, the way I viewed it. It was like, this is great, you know? So I ended up at a very early age, opened up my own business. I mean, like a real little hole in the wall. Literally had a shop that you get one car inside of and uh, I had my dad's Craftsman toolbox. And it just kind of went from there. Maybe 10 years later, I got into the entertainment side of building cars. And that was really just by chance, you know? We built this crazy vehicle for a movie and it really just never stopped from that point on. We started getting so busy with that, I finally decided, you know, this is what I need to do full time. And I sold the uh, automotive business and, you know, opened up my own company at that point, just doing what you see around us. Not a lot of planning went into it, it just kind of happened. What's your favorite part of all this? Like, what's your favorite thing to do? And I love the design process of designing a car, coming up with something cool. And uh, so that's a real fun part of the job. And then probably my next big high moment will be actually road testing that car. You know, we get that car to the point, it might not be finished 100% cosmetically, but we'll load it on our trailer, we'll take it to, uh, whether it's a parking lot or a racetrack, and actually just get behind the wheel and, you know, do some laps in it. That's really a great moment. And then the final one is actually going to, like, for instance, the premiere and actually seeing the movie and the card on the big screen. Yeah, that's really a rewarding point, you know, kind of the, the final chapter of the whole process. I mean, I will say it's a great job. It has so many positive aspects, but there's a lot of stress, unlike you would find like in a normal repair shop. Like when you have a repair shop, you can say, hey, hey man, I'm sorry, you know, that part didn't come in. It's gonna be a few more days on your truck. We're in this business, there's no excuses. There's no, we need two more days. If the deadline's a deadline, no matter what it takes, if I have to put someone on a plane and fly them to Ohio to pick up a part and fly back with it that night, we do that, you know what I mean? That's what yeah. it takes. And uh, there's the option of not coming through with, you know, what you said you would do is, you know, it would be kind of a career ender, you know? Yeah. So that's the, that's the different, you know, like I said, any kind of a normal repair shop or hot rod shop, you know, there's always excuses, some legit, some not. And, uh, you know, there's no excuse that's even worth mentioning in my shop, so, you know. What was your motivation to like keep going and to keep learning and to keep striving? I always had this huge appetite for fast cars and fast boats and motorcycles. So, yeah. you know, it was always doing everything I could to make enough money to support my automotive habit, you know? So that was really, you know, what motivated me to, you know, be successful in this business and do the best job I could. And part of it, which is true in this business as well as the automotive business is, you know, you want the repeat customers, you know? So that's really, I think the key to any business is customer satisfaction. It's just something that I look at a lot of elements of this business and many other business where you don't see that as a priority. And that's what I think, you know, will put those companies out of business. What would be some advice that you would give us? If cars are your passion, just stay with it. Read everything you can. I think I subscribe to every car magazine in the world. You know, like the tech tips in the back of the magazine. Don't leave anything out because it's something you're gonna pick up there, I promise you. If you read cover to cover, you're gonna learn three or four things that'll stick with you. You wanna be one of the top guys that people come to as an expert. So uh, you just have to have that constant quest for knowledge. You know, learn everything you can, talk to as many people as you can, which is obviously what you guys are doing. You know, visit all the other shops that you guys do. And like I said, just strive to be the best in your field.